As more wind and solar power comes onto the grid, batteries will be needed to store energy. The existing technology can be at risk of catching fire. Now a new system able to withstand extreme heat has been developed in Sydney. Even on a hot plate of 600 degrees, this battery refuses to catch fire. It's touted as a game changer in renewable energy storage, all thanks to a specialised gel. The zinc bromide battery chemistry differs from other conventional ones like lithium ion or lead acid by being able to charge to 100% and discharge to 0%. We are able to run at high temperature. He says that makes it ideal for remote outback conditions and safe for a wide range of industries. So we have a current collector onto which we put our carbon and gel materials and these then are stacked up like a stack of cards and connected and put in parallel plates into a container. A pilot manufacturing line is being set up in Western Sydney. Finally, we'll see our lab scale research to be scaled very rapidly here in Australia. Already worth more than $100 billion, economists say the stationary battery storage market is tipped to grow exponentially. And those in the industry predict that growth could boost local jobs. We uh, plan to have a full-scale operation manufacturing batteries by the end of next year. Uh, so our factory will be scaled up. Employment will obviously be uh, an added benefit. Every time we spawn a new technological product in the low emissions technology space, it's export opportunities, it's domestic opportunities and it's jobs. The new technology uses existing battery infrastructure making it more cost-effective. That's uh, every scientist's dream. Everyone wants to see the outcome of the hard work. A big incentive for a brighter future. Cecilia Connell, ABC News, Sydney.